Controlled traffic farming used in conjunction with deep tillage between the permanent wheel tracks is boosting crop production on WA's compacted wheat belt sands. Researchers and growers are seeing wheat yield responses of up to one ton per hectare, where subsurface compaction is being broken down by deep ripping to a depth of 30 to 35 centimetres. This system allows plant roots to access stored soil moisture late in the growing season and has been hugely beneficial in years such as 2014, where there has been good summer and autumn rainfall, but below average growing season rain. Tamman grain growers Colin and Libby Hutchinson are using controlled traffic and deep ripping on compacted yellow sand areas that cover about 15 to 20 per cent of their property. We're on 12, uh, 10 inch spacings with our uh, planting machine, uh, a DBS air seeder bar. That uh, seems to be a quite uh, a good spacing for us. Uh, it works well. Uh, we get good land or pre-emergent herbicide coverage and incorporation at that width. Um, yeah, it just works well, suits our system. We've got everything out to three metre centres. Uh, that was relatively easy to do. Everything matched up. Uh, we bought a combine harvester uh, with a 40 foot front that matched our 40 foot system. So, and then uh, just turned the wheels around and got the combine harvester onto three metres. That was um, easily done. A 40 foot machine for our size program fits uh, our area quite nicely. Um, 40 foot combine harvester fronts were just coming onto the market at that stage. Uh, so that was about as wide as we could go with a uh, combine harvester. So it, it fitted in quite nicely with a 120 foot boom spray and our fertiliser spreader works at 80 feet or 12 metres, oh, uh, 24 metres. So it all f fell together quite nicely when we yeah, set it up. For deep ripped areas, the Hutchinsons use an agro plough with 40 centimetre row spacing to delve to a depth of 30 to 35 centimetres. This operation is usually carried out in February or March. If we have summer rains and the ground's uh, suitably wet enough so we can uh, get in there and do it, you, you want some moisture there so that it doesn't come up in big hard clods so that uh, when the clods are coming up they're soft enough for us to, uh, yeah, to, to um, get them to crumble with our helical packers. Um, yeah, and we're like, say, uh, 350 yeah, 300 to 350 deep. Collins says the main benefit of using a controlled traffic system with deep ripping on compacted sands is higher crop yields, especially in tight finishing years. With some of our country and that yellow sand, uh, that compaction layer was extremely hard. And um, in the drier years, uh, the plants couldn't get through that compacted layer into, if we had moisture underneath. So now that we've got the, uh, you know, we've got that that busted open, the plants can access a lot more moisture and do uh, finish a lot better on that um, uh, now that it's been uh, had the deep cultivation. We may get a lot of summer rain some years and uh, very little in the in the in the spring. So uh, we need to have that uh, accessibility to all the rain that we we can um, we can to yeah to get things to finish. We've certainly, in, in some areas, we've picked up a ton of extra growth uh, yield due to um, you know, the combination of the, the deep tillage and the uh, no-till. Um, yeah, it all works together. Colin's big tips for growers considering a controlled traffic and deep tillage system are to get the tram line set up before the cultivation and take a whole of farm perspective. Certainly, the the costs of setting up for us were not were not huge. You know, it was as simple as um, uh, fitting up the tractors with cotton reels on the front. Um, yeah, our machinery has all been reasonably easily converted. The combine harvester we needed to replace that at the time, so we bought it with the uh, yeah the front that suited our system. Um, yeah, it's all fallen together quite, quite well for us, really. Uh, the cost benefits at the end of the day um, is it's quite hard to quantify, you know, because we've been doing it for so long as to uh, whether what they actually are. But you know, 
our, certainly our tractors don't use much fuel, our tyres, uh, our tyre wear is, is minimal. Um, yeah, it all seems to be fitting quite well.